The purpose of this video is to show you how to navigate through the key to evaporator efficiency controller to clear any alarms on the controller itself. Keep in mind the alarms that we are clearing are time-based alarms. If, it, if you have a sensor alarm, as soon as you clear the alarm, it will reinitialize the alarm instantly. So the only way to clear a sensor type of alarm is to clear the issue with the sensor. So the first place to start, obviously you're seeing that we're at, we have a high temperature alarm on the controller initially, displayed by HITA. So the thing to do is to scroll over right or left to the manual column, manual mode column, which is MNMD. At that point, you can scroll into that column by pressing the up or down arrow key. If you've not put your password in yet, hit the enter key button when the password prompt comes up and put in the password 2222. You can do this by pushing the up and down arrow keys changing the digit readout and by pressing the right and left arrow keys changing the highlighted digit that you need to change. Once you have that password pushed in, put the enter key button down for three seconds to have it accepted. At that point now we can scroll through the manual mode column. What we're looking for is the alarm status input. Press the, alarm, press the enter key once you find the ALST of the alarm status input. At that point you'll find the clear alarm request. Push the enter key button down for three seconds and you'll clear the alarms. You'll go back to the manual mode uh, header, hit the back button, and now you can see that the high temperature alarm again has been cleared. You've basically reset the timer for that high temperature alarm. 